Bah écoute, comme, comme tu, tu dis, la moutarde est tellement forte que d'habitude. Comment est-ce qu'on est arrivé ici La technologie est avancée à un phénomène phénomène. Artificial eyes to cybernetic limbs. The promise of a better future. We now have the choice to free ourselves from any kind of limitation. Strength, power, speed. Now I focus on what really matters. Have these augmentations really been tested? There are tested? people who say that what is happening is unnatural, that we're playing God. But people were scared of electricity. And where would the world be without that? What them? happens if this technology falls into the wrong hands? Diseases or viruses that could wipe out the human race. Seeing the terror of the witness world. What kind of madness has gripped the mechanically augmented people? Los Angeles. Nine million deaths confirmed and counting. This is an attack on humanity and the universal values that we share. These people were hacked. They had no control. What is the appropriate response? And can we actually protect ourselves from this happening again? I have no idea what happened. I would never... You tried to kill me. At what point will governments consider the idea of segregation for all our sakes? We can be politically correct or we can be foolish. But it's going to get worse and worse. The Czech Republic adds its voice to a growing list of countries calling for the relocation of its augmented citizens. We have citizens. no Reports choice. Reports of severe shortages of the drug neuropathine required to inhibit the rejection of augmentations. And we will fight for our God-given rights to defend our will. In the sign of growing anti-augmentation sentiment, thousands of It doesn't matter how many idiots you get out there on the street. We will not relinquish our limbs. Do you understand? What is happening on this planet is a mess. Fear-mongering and the mainstream media pushing this narrative. The officer suffered severe facial injuries. Incident after incident after You need incident. to be afraid because they are coming for you. We will not be made slaves to corporations. Please, they rise up. To them, we are the enemy. Have you seen what your kind are doing? My kind? You sound just like them. We come to a tipping point. We can't live like this anymore. This violence is completely out of control. Rome is being paid for this corporate militant state. What do they have planned for us? Why are they building concentration camps? What's going on out there? Reports of multiple fatalities. There's only one way to deal with these bloodthirsty fanatics. A lot of people die. Now you want to take away our freedom? You will pay for it in blood. Multiple detonations looks like car bombs. The Offended Rights Coalition denies responsibility. Segregation Act has been passed into law, effective immediately. Augmented persons are being asked to move to safe and secure segregated districts. I don't want them to take me. We are still your neighbors, your brothers, your sisters, who love us. We lost everything, our dreams. Our innocence. Where are you taking her? Where are you taking her? Our humanity. Hey everyone, welcome to our very first Deus Ex Mankind Divided segment at Square Enix Presents. I'm Sacha, I'm the community manager at IDOS Montreal on Deus Ex, and I am joined by Jean-François Dugas, Hi. our executive game director, and Jonathan Jacques Beltet, our executive art director. Bonjour. How are you guys doing? Great, you? Good. I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Um, so we have some new gameplay to show you today. Uh, before we jump in, um, what you've just seen before we came on is our live action trailer, which we released a few weeks ago. Uh, can you guys tell us a bit about the state of the world in Mankind Divided? Well, we're two years after the events of Human Revolution. 2029. Uh, 2029, indeed. And uh, at the end of the last game, actually, there was a big event where uh, augmented citizen went into, like John calls it, the zombie mode. <laughs> Me mechanical zombies. <laughs> mechanical zombies. And uh, uh, they, 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 they were, there were a lot of killing, a lot of accidents, a lot of people dying. We're talking about millions. 
And now we're two years after those events where society is trying to recover from, from that big tragedy. And now you see in the world in different places, not everywhere, but in a, in a lot of places, yeah. a lot of uh, 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 segregational laws, uh, plenty of measures that will put people into ghettos, uh, or, or like uh, their life will be miserable, etc. And um, and Adam Jensen has to evolve in that in in, in that world. He, he works now for Task Force 29, which is a subdivision of uh, Interpol, and uh, it's an anti-terrorist uh, faction. And he's trying to bring some peace uh, to to that chaotic world now, mm. two years after of the things that he couldn't totally prevent himself and uh, also at the same time he has a double agenda is trying to get at the people in the shadows the people who are manipulating society and he believes that through task force 29 he can achieve his goal so that's the kind of setting and that's the kind of the basic motivation for adam jensen being back in this world cool so let's jump in the uh, gameplay video every day on square enix presents we are going to show you a different play style today we are going to go for aggressive styles aggressive stealth so as we were saying, um, what you're going to see here is some gameplay from Dubai. Can you tell us about the, um, the mission Adam is going for here? We've got a UC in That's there. aggressive conversation. Might be easier to maintain his cover. <laughs> <laughs> He's not the only one still breathing when this is done. Well, <laughs> it's the it's the first map of the of the game. It's Dubai. Uh, like we just said with the setting, we wanted to 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 start a new game, like bridging the gap with the the last game with Human Revolution. Yes, with Human Revolution in the sense that uh, the last one was it was kind of the golden age. Of augmentations, it was very positive, and like Never a lot of the, 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 the possibilities that were that were uh, uh, portrayed or explored in that game. And Jackson. now in this Sing world of mankind divided, like the dream has gone south, device. like the, the, the dream is over, and and Dubai. The, the, indul the, the uh, indulgement like is is over. Like people are not kind of tripping as much as they used exactly. to. Exactly. Yeah. The party's over. The party's as, over. I, as I like to say. Yeah. The keg has been sucked dry. And and the the the. Uh, so the map of Dubai, like it's very it fairly it, black and gold, but now it's the sunset, and when Jensen is going, then few minutes he's going to, to to jump for his it's mission. He's gonna pretend he's Icarus. Yeah, he's going to to fall symbolically into the sea, like it's the end of the Icarus myth that was so present in the yeah. last game. The whole, the whole Dubai map, visually speaking and thematically speaking, in big parts, is like it. it we're using it as a transition between human revolution, right, and, and mankind, mankind divided. divided. Yeah. It's like, it's like this is most probably one of the most kind of black and gold, uh, you know, map you're gonna see in yeah. the game. Yeah. It's, um, you know, it, it really takes you from what you knew in Human Revolution and slowly uh, takes her hand and brings you in the world of mankind divided. This, this. Uh, the end of the dream, the, exactly. end, the end of this huge kind of golden era. Yeah, and actually, uh, the, the, this first mission, like where we're trying to stop a smuggling deal, is uh, happening uh, in a hotel that was under construction two years ago by yeah. augmented uh, workers. And now you get there, it's totally abandoned. Uh, there are still some uh, uh, remains of that catastrophe. Yeah, even that is is, is a symbology, it, right? The exactly. fact that, that these augmented people who were the only ones who could build such a great architecture yeah, feats or whatnot yeah, are now yeah. there and are dead and they're left exactly, there and yeah. they probably went even crazy for, from the Panchea event. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Yeah. I knew a few of them and they... Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was really important to, 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 uh, to bridge uh, that gap. And uh, Dubai also, it's the first map of the game, so we're trying to give you a little bit more uh, uh, context in terms of how to play with the controls, the, the, the feature set, uh, basically all the tutorials you need to, uh, after that to be unleashed in the rest of the game that is much more open than the, than the first map. Um, you still have all your multi-path and, uh, and, and you can, you can, you know, you can approach it the way you want, but it, it is a little more, um, a little more, linear. yeah, I don't want to say constraint. Uh, linear. Con con linear, yeah, yeah you want to say that? In a way. Well, it's in not a way. linear, but it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's not <laughs> linear, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> so now what we're seeing is that uh, Adam Jensen is using a lot of, uh, of his tool to to s remain stealthy, but at yeah. the same time, he's very active. He's, he's not he's killing any of these people yeah, right now. But he's moving forward. It's taking them down. Uh, we've seen the Tesla gun arm, which is a new uh, a new augmentation that Jensen has that allows you to uh, to uh, disable up to four enemies uh, at once. Really? But again, like you said, non-lethally. Non uh, they're not yeah. dead. They're just sleeping for. Now, a while. why isn't he using both his hands in 
and like take down like eight people at the same time. That's a very good question. Yes, he's probably holding his gun in the other one. That's why. Uh, actually, a system wouldn't be able to take it. Our it's system? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it it would. It would. Jensen system. Yeah, Jensen system. That I, that's what I thought you were saying. And now uh, we're we're seeing the use of the the, the stun gun, and the stun gun is similar to the Tesla uh, gun arm, but. It's very like close range, and it shoots one bullet at a time. So it demands a different tactic, yeah, different approaches, a, a different approach. It's like the the result is the same, but they don't they don't behave yeah. the same way. And also now we just saw the uh, Peps gun arm, which is another non-lethal uh, weapon. And one thing that was important to us uh, with Mankind Divided is we were trying to give a little bit more flexibility to the players in terms of uh, uh, of uh, killing or not killing versus stealth and non-stealth. Uh, in the last game, most of the weapons that were non-lethal were kind of built in such a way that you had kind of to play stealth to be very effective. This time around, what we wanted to do, we wanted to go like Maybe I want to go non-lethally, but I still want to fight or be mm -hmm. more aggressive. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to allow Good that work. more naturally. Mm -hmm. And the gun arms come into... Have a better flow between exactly. all these things. Yes. Yeah. 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 So mm -hmm. we have right. some uh, weaponry or some it's tools that close. are more are efficient, uh, uh, even in combat, fresh. not just like in a very stealth, uh, yeah. step by step to look out for your team. Yeah, the whole thing, yeah, I think that's what you said. It, the whole thing feels a lot more natural. Yeah how you use all these, yeah. how you go back and forth between your lethal, non-lethal, if you're playing stealth or not. Everything is a lot more holistic exactly. as a whole. Yeah. Hacking is back. Uh, it's very similar to what was in Human Revolution, but we we kind of uh, beefed it up a bit for this game. Now uh, the, the security systems have booby traps. Uh, it can be much more like, or less forgiving, should I say, and the player is going to have more softwares to play with to be able to circumvent the challenges. The thing is that it's not going to be as easy as it was in the last game. You'll have to be a little bit more tactical and use more your softwares to be successful. Yeah. Access granted. And bam, we're successful because yeah, Sasha is a good player. This one was kind of easy, to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. It took it's me 15 first, tries to do it. <laughs> it's easy. That's insulting. So now Jensen is getting to the uh, weapon deal area. Uh, the rest of the team is already in position to... Did he just uh, drop his gun there? No, he just uh, broke uh, Kick, some... Uh, kicked some a rock wires. or the, the panel of the, the elevator or something, uh, or the door. Yeah, Not yeah, the elevator, the that. door. And he just threw it. So where's the, the sandstorm now? <laughs> Somewhere. Somewhere. In the horizon. <laughs> in the horizon. <laughs> it's <laughs> coming, it's coming. It's coming. So we're going to shorten uh, for this presentation the, the cutscene, but yeah. uh, what we're not going to see is that a third party came to interrupt the deal that we were supposed to to, uh, to interrupt ourselves, actually. And now the, the, the third party uh, people, like the gold mask kind of mysterious uh, spec ops, they're trying to, uh, to fly and steal the chopper with the content, the material that was inside uh, uh, the everything. Yeah. And uh, we have to stop it. And actually, like for the sandstorm, it's a very good here it's coming oh there it is yeah but there's it might not come it might not come depending, yeah, on, depending how you play, on how you play because um, uh, your boss uh, Miller is telling you like we have to be quick we have to be smart about it the, the sandstorm is going to come and it might it might uh, make things more complicated so if you're really to the point like you can manage to end the mission without any sandstorm but if you 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 get caught somewhere or you take your time you might have to deal with the sandstorm so now and does it have an impact on what these people are doing if the sandstorm absolutely is there or not? their accuracy is reduced even yours and uh, you have to use more your augmentations to know where they are like the smart vision we just saw here uh, and then also depending uh, if the sandstorm is is there or not the chopper might take off earlier or not so yeah. there are many ways that this mission can end and obviously the player sasha has played this map very many times because he knew exactly <laughs> what to do and but that's fair for the new players anyway. because you're spoiling one way to do that so okay, yeah. it, it kind of ruins the experience why are you doing that this but at least we're not showing the other ones <laughs> oh we actually are showing the other ones but we'll show them tomorrow and the oh. day after so tomorrow guys <laughs> total spoiler <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll be done with spoiling it for you yeah, so this video was aggressive stealth, as I was saying. Tomorrow we are going to show combat, uh, and the day after that we'll show adaptive, so it's going to be a mix of stealth and a mix That's of, uh, I play it. of combat. Uh, now we have a few questions from fans we wanted yeah. to, uh, to answer today. Yeah. So first up, 
will we be getting a more personal take on Adam this time around, for example, seeing how he feels about the events of the last game and this one, mm -hmm. and how his attitude towards being augmented has evolved? Well, uh, there are two questions in there. The yeah. first one, uh, let's say, let's talk about Adam Jensen. Uh, Adam Jensen has evolved from being this guy, like this blue color guy in human evolution, where he was like working for Serif Industries. Taking and orders. Yeah, and he was the, the, the kind of guy like, we never said if he was for or against augmentations. It's just that it was not the plan in his life, probably at this mm. period of time, to, 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 to get into the I mean, he definitely got trend, augmented against but, uh, his will. Yes. But it doesn't mean that he was against or for them or... Exactly. Yeah. And the last game was all about him, like, coming in to, to age Terms. with uh, with uh, with his augmentations, like, trying to understand them, trying to accept uh, who he became. And in this game, now, like, like the, 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 the sentence uh, the, or the, the line we have in the, the trailer where it says, we have to let go, I have to let go and embrace what I've become, it, it, it says that now he's taking charge. Like, he assumes mm -hmm. that he's a tool. He, he, <laughs> he can... He <laughs> <laughs> that he can be a, a, a powerful weapon, and but he wants to use it for good, and, ho and uh, he hopes that he can make a difference. Yeah, so he even thinks that to do what he has to do, he's probably the only person who can do that, or, mm -hmm. or at least only someone who's as weaponized as he is exactly. can do it. It's, exactly. it's to that degree that he's realizing yes. all these yes. things. And at this point, is like much more like uh, comfortable with that, yeah. assuming who he is yeah. and moving forward. He's probably even more comfortable. I've always personally kind of kind of wanted to think that he's even more comfortable with his augmentations physically speaking yes, yes. you know they probably don't hurt him as much anymore exactly. or all that kind yeah. of but that's me eh? but uh, yeah <laughs> that's I, your story there's not enough story in the day sex i need to invent <laughs> something <laughs> there's only like 50 exactly. million lines <laughs> and uh also that's why like with what you just said that's very interesting like in dubai uh player or Adam Jensen is going to start with his augmentations mm -hmm. because what we wanted to give is the Phil, it's the man 2.0 he's, he's, he's going with this team and he, he has this those uh, advantages and it was... Really and he's the only one in the team who's augmented. Yeah. Exactly, so uh, we wanted to make sure that players have them uh, right at the start and then something happens and is, they are going to have to rebuild him. After that mm. to know... Also known as the Metroid effect. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. TM Jonathan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the Emmy. That's it. Yeah. And uh, for the second part of the question, of course, uh, Adam Jensen is going to encounter people in this world that are uh, are going to ask him questions about how he feels about certain th uh, things about himself or the themes of the world and, and things like that. Uh, I, uh, I, I keep it vague just because uh, yeah. I think mm -hmm. we spoiled enough <laughs> already. So but even with that, there's a bit um, of a, like you like to say, Jeff, you, you, I've heard you say this a few times, he's a bit of a stranger in a strange land even. Yep. He's like, Obviously, for the people that are against augmentations or afraid of them, he's like this walking tank. And um, even when he's with the augmented people in the new world, he's uh, he's in better shape than they are. Exactly. So even towards yeah. them, he's a bit like, yeah, yeah. you know... Um, he's an outcast. An he's an outcast. He's yeah. an outsider, yeah. yeah. So will we see <laughs> will we see more of it the... It was our moment. Yeah, so. yeah <laughs> we uh, <laughs> have those things. Yeah. So next question is, uh, will we see more of the Illuminati in Mankind Divided compared to... Uh, the Illuminati. No, no, I heard that. Okay. <laughs> Continue, <laughs> Sasha. <laughs> compared, compared to Human Revolution, will we see a bit more of them in uh, Mankind Divided? Well, they're, they're part of the world. They're part of mm -hmm. the big conspiracy going on. They, they are part are. of... They are the people that Adam Jensen is, uh, is, uh, is chasing. So you can expect seeing few of them, I guess. A few. A few. There's a, a few. A few. A few. So talking about different play styles, um, in Mankind Divided, <laughs> how, did you, how did you um, try and balance uh, people who are going to play stealth and people who are going to play combat mm -hmm. and not uh, kind of be biased towards one or another? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think if we do our job well, it's to let players actually, to make them feel that there's not a right way to play the mm -hmm. game is just like... There are many options, and obviously some are more combat-oriented, some mm. are more stealth-oriented, or, or as a player, you can try to go into the, the middle of the fray being stealthy or vice versa. Anyway, the point being is uh, we're building, we're always building the maps and the challenges with that in mind. We know that the game is combat and stealth. It's not one mission is combat, the other is stealth. It's it's all of that at once. So when we, we build the, the, the 
the maps like I was saying we're we're playing and uh, we're like sometimes like challenging well uh, where's the the, the stealth pad or uh, is it obvious enough or not or it's too much of this too much of that it's a big chunk of what level design on, on this game is, is is figuring all these things yeah, out. so yeah. we're iterating iterating yeah. until yeah. it feels right and uh, another thing also that we're we're doing with mankind divided is um, we change like how you get XP uh, in the yes. last in the last game in Human Revolution. We were giving more XP for we were a little biased before for for stealth for stealth yeah, yeah. and uh, less for combat. And uh, the logic we had back in the day, which was totally uh, faulty, is that <laughs> uh, <laughs> is that uh, we we thought well it it demands more time, more energy, more skills to like be. We thought like stealth kind of needed a bit more involvement. From the players, yeah, and then we like let's just put more XP to that. XP, yeah. yeah. But what it it created is that players ended up thinking that it was the right way to play. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it was not our intention at all. No, because then they, you start playing artificially, which is exactly what we don't like exactly. on this game. It's like people would start artificially to push stealth to get the more XP, which is and it's weird that we did this because it's so it so counters our our basic our foundational philosophies for a game like that. Like nothing should be artificial, right? It's like you shouldn't even know what the rewards are because yeah. then it's like, oh, yeah, of course you're going to take the path that has the gigantic nuke shooting bazooka, right? Because exactly. that's what you want, right? But, uh, yeah. And in this one, we, we what we did is that we rebalanced the XP distribution yeah. between stealth and combat. It's just that if you play combat, you'll get XP all the way through, like by little chunks. The distribution is is the the system of distribution is different. But it's even. In but terms the layering of is even. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And for the stealth, you need to. We need to know when the players finish with the map. Yeah, yeah. To <laughs> 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 yeah it's like it's so. like if you stealth, it's like you'll get a treasure. <laughs> yeah. Right. And if you if you combat, uh, uh, there'll be more like the breadcrumbs. Exactly. And, uh, and but uh, the amounts are pretty much the same. That's it. Yeah. Cool. So that's all the time we have for you guys today. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. Uh, we'll talk a bit more about Breach, which is our new game mode, and answer some of your other questions. We have a last video to show you. Enjoy E3. Thank you. human beings. Each and every one of us. This must not go on. This injustice must end. An increase in the number of terrorist attacks highlights the danger posed by augmented citizens. I once thought I could save the world. Now look at it. Sometimes, you just have to let go, and embrace what you've become. They've worked from the shadows for years, shaping the future, manipulating lives, controlling information. Innocents have died as they play their game. We will not sit idly by, and allow our rights to be eroded out of fear and ignorance any longer. We will not be herded into ghettos and treated as outcasts. We will stop at nothing. The world is different now. The old rules no longer apply. So much pain. So many lies. Their darkness must end.
This should be your fight as well, brother. The promise of a golden age is over! I won't let it happen again. <laughs>